Not sure, Kristen, if we found yesterday that the fiance is cheating on Shauna here, but certainly feeling like he was inappropriate. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. It was a gray it area. Too? Yeah, we couldn't really figure out what he meant. He said um, he ended he ended up buying something called Whoops a Daisy, which was to fix any mistake with a fun assortment of Gerber daisies. So As this was the War of the Roses that we were doing, right? So okay. we send you know this. Mm -hmm. So we send um, dude a fake promotional offer. See who he's going to send him to. He better be sending him to his fiance three days before the damn wedding. You would mm -hmm. think, right? But. Um, he had linked back up, just had a lunch or a dinner or whatever with an ex just for quote unquote closure purposes. Right before his wedding, huh? Yep. yep. Yes, this is what we said. I'm sorry. Yeah. And so he ended up sending uh, somebody that was not his fiance, which is just not the thing you do before your wedding. And the note on the card said, I'm sorry things couldn't be different, which we were trying to place what he meant by that. Like, was that a deflection? Like, huh? I, I wish things could be different, but they're not. Or was it a, you know, I know you want things to be different. Yeah. But they're not. That, yeah, that card can be taken in two very distinct ways. Cassie was giving it some wiggle room. I felt like it was really inappropriate. I mean, I, no one wants to hear about uh, their significant other sending flowers to their ex, but I thought it was a gentle way, like if she was really into it, if he knew maybe she'd go off the rails or something like that, if she felt disrespected, it was a gentle way of... Letting her down. So Dr. Evil over there uh, came up with an idea yesterday to make sure that we could get to the truth of this thing. Yeah, because we don't actually send the flowers. I suggested that Shauna has flowers sent to herself, the exact same flowers with the same note. Because, you know, when you're on autopilot filling stuff out, you know, it's believable that he put in the wrong address, the home address. He's instead. got a wedding on the brain, baby. Mm -hmm. And so the flowers show up and she's like, this, these are so sweet. But what does this card mean? And put him on the spot to see what he says. Well played. Ooh, that is well good. played. I mean, <laughs> I I'm in awe. Yeah. Thank you. I want to bow down. Yeah. To the greatness that is Cassie's mind. <laughs> we all you, started tearing you. up a little bit yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she came up with that idea. It was a beautiful moment. So let's see if Shauna uh, did just that or not. Hey, Shauna. Hey. All right. Here we are on the eve of your wedding. This is like the last thing in the world you should be worrying about. Yep. Pretty much. So what'd you do yesterday? Did you take Cassie's uh, idea? I did. Um, so I, I sent the flowers to myself and I was like, Hey, like what's, what's this? And he acted like he had no idea what it was. Um, completely denied knowing anything about it and to the point where he actually, he was like, Oh, someone must be pranking us. I'm like, wow, you're really digging your heels into this. So he texted all of his groomsmen, like, hey, like, who's pranking us? Like, I want to know. Like, he is, wow. he is living. Well, I mean. He, and I'm just like, what? Also, I feel like if he didn't feel like he did something wrong, why wouldn't he just tell me? I agree. Well, he probably does think somebody's pranking you because he's probably adamant that he filled out the f flowers for the other person. So now he, he, he I, I can see where he would think, okay. So I got pranked. Somebody sent me this flower promotion. I wanted to send flowers to this person. They sent oh, them to I my fiance instead. I'm getting pranked. He probably legitimately thinks he's getting pranked because guess what? He is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, he signed his name on the card. I'm sorry things couldn't be different, Kevin. Correct. So he feels like some, why would some, what would be the motivation of somebody pranking him? To catch to see if he's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but no. <laughs> no, but he probably thinks this whole thing is a prank, and he doesn't He doesn't listen to our show, so he doesn't know it's a radio station putting up to it, so maybe he thought it was his groomsman, so he reached out to his groomsman. Like, I get where he's coming mm. from, that he legit thinks this is a prank. Well, no. well wouldn't he stretch. have admitted to knowing at least where the flowers came from? Because he seems like he's pretending he doesn't know about it at all, like... You would know that. Well, there's that, mm -hmm. that little stitch. That's yes. a big one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really big one. Well, but yeah. he knows he sent flowers. You remove that stitch, the entire you pants fall down. I get that. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> so, Shauna, what do you... Okay, so he's digging in. He's like, flowers? I don't know anything about fl flowers. Someone's must be probably could be. Uh, <laughs> and, your, <laughs> and your response to that is what? Honestly, I, I don't know what to do. I was so hoping he was just going to be honest, you know. But, I mean, 
I don't know what to do. Everybody's here. Like, everybody's flown in. I, I don't know what to do. Um, it's like, what if this is, like, you know, not a big deal and a little hiccup that, you know, once we're married, like, everything will be great and fine. And, you know, he's just, I don't know, feeling like emotions before we get married or, like, is it, is it, you know, a big sign? I, I, I really don't know what to do. All right, Shauna, before we even go on here, right, um, you're asking, like, hey, is this a little hiccup? Is this just a mistake? From the outside looking in, this is not a little hiccup. Mm -hmm. This is major. This is really major. And the biggest part of it is the fact that he won't come clean. Like, if it were me, I would feel like if we are going to get married, then you are going to have to come clean. Period. Today's the come to Jesus talk. Yep. Like, you sit him down and point blank, before I walk down the aisle, I need to know who blank is. Mm -hmm. And whoever he sent the flowers to and put him on the spot. Well, we know who she is. This is the one uh, that he had lunch with or what? Was it a lunch he had with her for, you know, uh, for closure or was it a dinner? I think it was drinks. Drinks. All right. So we even know who she is. You need to ask why then. Why mm -hmm. did you send this note? And it may be like he may have done something shady and sketchy and genuinely being like, I'm trying to close that door. Like, I messed up. I want to start fresh with you. That's for you to decide, Chana, whether or not you want to accept that excuse. But Kristen's right. Like, today you have to have the come to Jesus talk. Call him out because you're going to be thinking about that the entire time throughout your ceremony if you don't. And then you're going to start your marriage with all of these doubts and questions. Yeah, and I don't want to discount the pressure you must feel under with oh, everybody yes. in town right now. You've been planning oh, this God. thing for who knows how long. Everybody's excited. I'm sure you're getting texts and hanging out with everybody. This thing is supposed to be on. So I don't want to discount that this is an easy decision. You it's know what? Not. If you have a talk with him and he lies, just don't get married. Look, this is a tough one, man. This is really tough. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know what to do. I, I know you don't know what to do, but I think we all agree before you walk down that aisle tomorrow, like, like, as soon as you get off the phone, pull him mm -hmm. to the side and be like, this is so incredibly important. I love you. We need to have a, a serious talk. Why did you meet with this person and why did you write this note? Right, so let's play this out for just one second, okay? You sit him down. Let's play a couple of options out. You sit okay. him down and he continues to deny, 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 right? I don't know anything about flowers. I don't even know what you're talking about. Brace yourself for that one. If that happens, what do you do Saturday? I don't know. You're I mean, I, too much I would like to think that I, I have the, you know, balls to do this, but I, I just never thought I'd be in this position. Sure. I think we got to take baby steps here. And that's like, before you even contemplate whether or not you're going to call off the wedding, <sighs> you just need to get to the point where you can sit down... Shauna, this is a man that you're supposed to marry, that you're going to share your life with. You have to be able to sit down and have this conversation with him. I, and it's going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done, but it's the right thing to do. Sometimes making the right decision doesn't feel good. I'm sorry that you're going yeah, through this, this the day be before stressful. your wedding. Yep. If, if you're up for it sometime <laughs> next week, let's catch back. Well, we'll have to catch back up with you, depending on what happens this weekend. But have that difficult, difficult talk mm -hmm. with them tonight. Okay, Shauna? All right. Thank you. Guys. All right. Good luck this weekend. Thanks. Ugh. I don't got problems. Man. Man. I don't got no problems. That that sucks, I have some dude. inconveniences, but I do not have problems. The Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.